Hey, hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 3 of VCPA Data Center Virtualization 2023 video. So in this video, we are going to see how we can join ESXi host in Active Directory domain. So you can basically join ESXi host, VMware ESXi host in your Active Directory domain. So you can uh, log in through the users which is created in Active Directory and you, basically you can assign permission or rights, login rights through Active Directory users and groups. So <clears throat> uh, in last video part 2 I have gone th we have gone through uh, how to uh, how to install ESXi host on virtual machine same way you can do the installation on physical machine. So also <clears throat> Now we did the basic configuration part so if you missed that part I recommend you to go and watch the part number two where we did the ESXi installation and post installation configuration task so let's get started and join the VMware ESXi host in Active Directory domain so <clears throat> so this is my uh, lab environment for this video so I got one domain controller which we are using in this complete info playlist or you can say tutorial so win2k22 dc01 uh, dc0 which is my uh, domain controller and dns server for labs and so on dot lan and we got two esxi hosts esxi1 and 2 uh, i'm going to show you both uh, join the both esxi host in domain so let's get started so this is my esxi1 this is my esxi2 and i got two more esxi hosts so what we are going to do let's go in a browser and go to esxi1 so here currently you have only one account you can use to log into esxi host which is root so now how if you want to allow uh, login through your active directory so you need to join machine in in the active directory domain so to join machine in active directory domain you need to control click on manage and go to basically here security and users and then click on authentication now you will see active directory is enabled status is no so you need to click on join domain and put your domain name like labs and so on dot lan and then put your user id name so administrator in my case and i'm going to type my password so just click on join domain so we you will see here the join domain is successful the host was successfully joining domain labs and so on so this is good now you will see here active direct enabled yes domain membership status is okay and then uh, domain name this is good and now if you want to verify same you can go here within your active directory and if you go to your default folder uh, where the computers are coming after joining domain you will see esxi-01 is now here and you can see the description also esxi-01.labs and so on so you will see here this is name is unknown and all these information membership you can see this is domain computer location and other uh, information if you wish to update you can update so same thing I'm going to do it on ESXi2 so ESXi-02 or labs and so on and here https and just wanted to make sure the uh, show you the process is same if you want to join machine in domain so now and this machine also you will see it's not join in domain so I'm going in authentication join domain and just type here labs and so on dot lan and your credential and just click on join domain and done now you can see this is also joined if I go here now and refresh I can see both the machines are ESXi hosts are now part of the domain so this is good now if you want to create a separate OU for ESXi only you can create in your infrastructure in AD and wanted to make sure the ESXi hosts are in one uh, basically one OU so you can create that and then you can move your ESXi host in particular that ESXi or you can say the uh, organization unit so this is good now <coughs> how you can log in 
through this uh, account so as of now if you see here users you will see only root user is added here okay so if you want to add new user you cannot do from here okay for this where you need to go you need to go to host and then action and you will see here permissions so you need to click here and then you will see here add add user so currently there are three users by default and then if you click on add users you will see here add user from host and then what you need to type here add group there is a add group option also so where you want to add you can put here administrator and then what you can do uh, basically I have created two users if I go here and show you I got user 1 and user 0 1 and user 0 2 so what I'm going to do I'm going to give you access through this first so users 0 1 at labs hands on dot lan and I'm going to add now this user so I'm going to give administrator rights and add user now you will see this user is added automatically labs hands on slash user is added and we got rights um, administrator and now I'm going to add group so how you can add a group so just here and what you need to type here can do here for a group you need to go here and get the group detail so this is my group name so what I'm going to do here now I'm going to put labs hands on and then I'm going to put my account name uh, group name and then add this group and click on add so now you will see this group is uh, added here and this has a administrator okay I forget to assign role so just click on here and administrator and add so now this will be going to add our one second so let's verify so I need to remove this and then try again so this is my group name so labs hands on slash and give the rights administrator this is group and add that's all now you can see the both group and user is it now I'm going to click here close and I'm going to log off from root account so now if I log in with my user 01 it should allow so user 01 labs and so on dot lan and password for this user you will see here now I have logged in as a <coughs> labs and so on dot lan user uh, user 01 at esxi01 and all so this is how you can basically log in through your um, domain account which you have created in Active Directory and you can get access required access so let's say if you want to limit the access limit the rights if you want if you have a multiple groups okay let's say one group for administrator one group you have for read only access or no access so you can uh, create all those things also you can specify what level of access you want to provide like data store data center so everything you can uh, do from here so this is good now if you see here we have added only user 01 and we added one group which is a esxi admin so esxi admin having both user 1 and user 2 so now we'll try to log in with user 2 and verify if log user 2 is able to log in because it's getting uh, basically permissions through group so user 02 and then labs hands on dot lan and then password for this account so you can see user 02 is also able to log in so one user we have given direct access through user and second user we have given through uh, basically permission given through uh, this uh, security group so now 
ideally we can remove this zero uh, user zero one so it should be fine because rights are uh, permissions are coming from esxi hyphen admin group so this is good now you can uh, do same setting on all your esxi hosts to make sure all uh, if you forget root admin uh, root credential or anything like that a root account got locked so you should be able to log in through your domain account or all the users like your admin department or IT department should have access to ESXi host by their individual account not through root because if someone log in through root and made some changes on the ESXi host or or your basically infrastructure you will not be able to track it who made the changes so I highly recommend go ahead and enable your uh, basically authentication to VMware ESXi host through active duty users only so we'll see a few other things in next video so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail ID thank you once again bye bye